number of different options, right? An easy one is that you go for an arm bar and he has his arm in a bad place. See, I, I do not have the arm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. He starts pulling this arm out. That's fine, because I'm looking at this shoulder. The foot that's close to his back, the, the butt side, I'm gonna turn, watch, watch me turn his body, I'm gonna turn, and that foot goes to the ground. Now, once I get there, I hold his pants so he can't roll, and then I sit up. And then I gotta tuck my leg, and then I start walking forward. Now, he's gonna tap before it starts hurting, but this is the lock, and this is the action. Okay? Now, he has to get his arm straight in order to escape. See if you can get your arm straight. That's what you're looking for right there. All right, to escape. If I can hold it here and I can keep him from rolling, nothing. Now, if I'm here and he gets up on his hands and knees while I'm doing this, right? And I don't grab this, watch, well, he's gonna roll right into Jennifer, that's okay. I do this and he just rolls. Now he's escaped and you're in two <laughs> A knee on position is the best thing you can hope for after that, okay? All right, let's show you one different one. All right. So we can do this off of Kimura lock, right? So I go to break. He's holding on pretty good. I get under his wrist. Remember when I bend the wrist, the hand comes open. So I grab, I break the wrist grip here, and I go like I'm going to do Kimura lock, and he holds on, and I start turning. And I use my leg to control his body, get up in this position, and he can hold on all day. I'm gonna still shoulder lock him here. This destroys the rotator cuff, right? I'm gonna stay right where you are, Tance. I'm gonna extract myself and show you guys that that is the Kimura lock right there. Okay? Just keep rotating that rascal until it runs out of 